Hello, good evening, Alejandra. Good evening, tell me. Hello, hello, good evening. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, fine. Um, I, I, a headache. Oh, you have a headache. Oh, headache, okay. little, little. Okay. Um, I see. I'm but, sorry to hear uh, that. But I, I am here, the class. Okay, thank you so much for your effort to be here tonight. Yes, teacher. Okay, you should take an aspirin. Yes, I, I take um a two aspirin. Okay, I hope that works. So welcome yes. to the class. It's nice to see you tonight. Yes. Hello, Marvin. Hello, Alejandra Maria, Raúl Edgardo. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight, Marvin? How are you? I feel fine, teacher. Okay, that's excellent. Very good. And Raúl Edgardo, how are you tonight? Fine, teacher. Okay, that is excellent. Very good. Hello, Carlos Mauricio. Welcome to the class. Good evening. It's nice to see you tonight. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Um, I'm very tired. You are very tired. Okay, but <laughs> tomorrow is Friday, so just tomorrow, right? Be strong. <laughs> be brave. Be strong. Just tomorrow. Teacher, yes. eh, no yes. sé si tendré, tendré tiempecito solo y no sé si tal vez puedo, puedo preguntarle. Tengo dudas con de homework, este, en la segunda sección. En la Tengo segunda. dudas, no entiendo, no, no entiendo el, el ejemplo que da. Ah, okay, excellent, no problem. We are going to check it. The, to the, tonight we are going to work on the platform too, and we are going to check the exercise there. So we are going to take a look of that, Carlos Mauricio, so don't worry. We are going to solve that tonight. Ya lo vamos a resolver en la plataforma. Vamos a ver qué es lo que sucede en ese ejercicio. Eh, hello, Carlos David. Hello, Ana Yasmin. Welcome to the class. I am so happy to see you tonight. Good night, teacher. Good night, compañeros. Good night, good night. Good night, good night. Okay, excellent. How do you say compañeros in English? Any volunteer? Classmate. Ah, okay, classmate. You can say classmate. Good evening, classmate. Good evening, classmate. Oh, good evening, friends. How are you? Okay. <laughs> we are friends right now. Okay. We are friends. Hello, Angel Portillo. Welcome to the class. So we have been talking about plans for the future, right? And we have been studying going to. Okay, we are going to be plus going to to my sentences about the future. So let's see, what are you going to do next weekend? What are you going to do next weekend? Today is and Thursday. So I I see right that I hope that you have some plans for the next weekend. So do you have one or you still have any plans for the next weekend? ¿Quién ya hizo planes para el fin de semana? I am going to work on Saturday and Sunday. I am going to stay home. I am going to sleep. I am going to listen to music. I am going to watch a movie. So which are your plans for the next weekend? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Kevin, do you have any plan for the next weekend? Uh, no, I don't. 
planks. Oh, okay. Only work, uh, teacher. Oh, yes, work. You are going to work next weekend. And okay. veamos. Good evening, Ana Lucia. Welcome to the class. Veamos. Ta, 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 ta. Ana Yasmin, do you have any plan for the next weekend? What are you going to do next weekend? I am going to in my house with my family and my fathers. Okay, excellent. So I am going to be, uh, or I'm going to stay at home with my parents. Okay, parents. Okay, excellent. Cuando queremos referirnos a mamá y papá, we say parents. Y si es al abuelo y a la abuela, we say grandparents. Okay. Grandparents. Okay. Yes. Parents. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, excellent. Tell me, do you have any plans for the next weekend? What are you going to do next weekend? Uh, no, I don't. I don't have plans. Okay, you don't have any plans. That's great. And what about you, Marvin? Okay, you say I'm going to stay at home. Um, Ana Lucia okay. say I am going to work. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. And Alejandra Maria say I have a problem with the internet connection. Okay, I understand. So don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. I hope that you recover the connection soon. So let's start with tonight's class, right? And see, tonight we are going to check the exercises on the platform in the section number one. But before to go to the platform exercises, I want to share with you the next topic, which is the reduction of the sound going to. And yesterday we listened to a conversation and in the conversation they say, Kona, instead of going to, right? Do you remember that? Recuerdan la conversación de la noche anterior? En de la clase anterior, en lugar de going to, las personas en la conversación decían cona, cona. So what happened with that sound? We are going to discover that in this class. We are going to find out this right now. So let me show you the topic for tonight. Welcome to the class number four. And we are, we are going to work on this reduction of going to sound. So I am sharing with you my screen. Can you see it? Let me know, please, if you can see my screen. So going to a reduction in pronunciation. Uh, we are going to use gonna in informal context. Let's see, especially in a spoken English, right? When estamos hablando in English, right? Or when escuchamos a alguien, from the United States to speak, we are going to use a lot of this sound. We use gonna instead of going to in informal context, especially in speaking and in some lyrics. Ya habían escuchado antes este sonido, gonna. Gonna, they say, right? Say, I'm gonna have a party. I'm gonna go to the beach. So I'm gonna stay at home. Gonna. Instead of saying going to, you are going to hear gonna. So let's pay attention to the following example. Yes, let me make sure that you can listen to this. Sharing the sound here. Here we go. Reduction of going to. Can you listen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, Okay, so listen to these examples. Reduction of going to. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. So listen again. Pay attention to the reduction of the sound going to, right? They pronounce it as going. Reduction of going to. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. Okay, I need two volunteers to practice in this part. So who wants to practice tonight in this two small conversation? Two volunteers? Who wants to participate in just reading this conversation and using the sound? Gonna. Thank you, Ana Yasmin. I have the first volunteer. Anybody? 
meet me, each other. Me? Uh, thank you, Kevin. So, Anna Yasmin and Kevin, the first round. So, thank Anna you. Yasmin, you are A, and Kevin, you are B. Let's understand. Okay. Are, are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna go out with a friend. Are you gonna to a restaurant? Yes, we are gonna go to night cafe. Okay, that was excellent. Yes, in the third sentence, are you gonna go? Are you gonna go to a restaurant? But the rest, that was excellent. Thank you so much, Kevin and Anna Yasmin. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Teacher. Any volunteers to practice the sound gonna in these sentences? Yes, teacher. Uh, who say yes? Anybody? One, two. I heard yes, hey. but then, tell me your hey, name, teacher. please. A. Tell me your name, please. Letter A. Okay, and any other volunteer to practice with hair? Um, uh, Anybody? I, I don't know. Anybody? I need another volunteer to practice with her. This is a conversation. So, me, teacher. Okay, thank you. So, Manuel, right? You are B, Manuel, and she is going to be A. Let's start. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we we are go, going to go to night coffee. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. That was almost perfect. Thank you. Very good pronunciation of the sound gonna in this part. So you say, are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. In this case, we're going to say Nick's Cafe, right? Because that is a Nick's name. Cafe. A place where you can buy coffee and some small dessert. So Nick's Cafe, okay? Nick's Cafe. Nick's Cafe. That is the place, right? Nick's Cafe. So let's go with the next. Any question in this part? Do you have any question? Then when we are going to use this, the, podemos utilizar gona cuando estemos escribiendo oraciones formales. Podemos escribir así, gona. Yes or no? What do you think? I think I, no, teacher. I think no. But ah, it's okay. informal. Okay, But yes. Informal context. It is for informal context, right? When you are talking with your friends, Oh, uh, when you are talking with um, someone, right, that you already know. And in some lyrics, right, you are going to hear this sound a lot in songs, right? Uh, if you like English songs, so I'm pretty sure that you have heard this before in Kona. So let's continue practicing this reduction, reduction of the sound of in the following sentence. Uh, use the going, going to reduce the sound in the following sentence. So, gonna, you are going to pronounce gonna instead of going to in the following six sentences. Any volunteer who wants to try? Thank you, Alejandra Maria. Can you please start? It's gonna dance at the party. Excellent. The next one. They are gonna tweet a lot. We are gonna to speak with our friends. He's gonna to sing at the party and I'm gonna to put the birthday cake. Okay, excellent. Thank you, so And the last one is I'm gonna drink wine. Very good. And uh, just in this one you say, uh, we are gonna speak, right? We are gonna eat. So el tú ya no lo vamos a pronunciar. So we're, they are gonna eat. We are gonna speak. We are going to see. Okay, any other volunteer to try in this sentence? Anybody, anybody? I can't t-shirt. Thank you so much. 
he is gonna dance and the party. They are gonna eat a lot. We are gonna speak with our friends. He is gonna sing at the party. I I am gonna cook the birthday cake. I I am gonna drink wine. Okay, thank you. That was excellent. Thank you so much. Very good. That was perfect. Perfect participation. Anybody, any other volunteer, any other volunteer to practice the sound yes, in the sentence? Thank you. Let's start. Okay. Uh, she's gonna to dance. She's gonna dance at the party. They are gonna eat a lot. We are gonna speak with our friend. He's gonna sing at the party. I am gonna cut the birthday cake. I am gonna drink wine. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. And the last one, the last one in this part, who wants to participate? Thank you, Francisca Idalia. Thank you so much. Good night. Uh, she's gonna to dance at the party. They are gonna to eat a lot. We are gonna to speak it, speak with all friends. He is gonna to sing at the party. He, la otra, I am gonna to cook the beer that cake. I am gonna to drink, to drink queen. Okay, thank you so much. Almost perfect. Just number four and number five, you say gonna to. The, el to lo vamos a eliminar. Sí, we are not going to say the to. Yes, he is gonna sing at the party. I am gonna cook. I am gonna drink. Okay, so el to ya no lo decimos, ¿verdad? ¿no? Okay, excellent. Teacher, o sea que es como una forma contractada. Así es, es como reducir el sonido going to, ¿verdad? And we're going to use gonna instead of saying going to. Las dos palabritas se convierten en una sola. Gonna, gonna. They are going, they are going to, we say they are gonna eat. Okay. Thank you for your question. Any other question in this part? Question, questions? No. No question. Then let's go with the practice for tonight. We are going to continue practicing, making sentences with going to. Yes. Y la forma negativa. Yes, I am not gonna. Ah, okay. Sería el no antes de gonna. Okay. We are not gonna, they are not gonna, I am not gonna. And ask your classmate about their plans. Use the time expression in the box. So look at the time expression tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow night, next week, next month, and next summer. Um, those tiny expressions show us a future tense, right? So tonight, what is the meaning of this word? Do you know the meaning of tonight? Esta noche. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So you say tonight. Uh, ¿Cuáles son sus planes esta noche? What are you going to do after class? So what are you going to do tonight? And then I'm you say... I'm gonna sleep, okay? I'm gonna sleep. Yo dormiré, ¿verdad? I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna rest. Uh, algunos todavía se quedan despiertos. I'm gonna watch TV. I'm gonna listen to music. Or oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna what? I'm gonna clean the house. I'm gonna wash the dishes. Algunos que les quedaron pendientes los trastes todavía los van a ir a lavar. So I am gonna. Uh, tonight, right? Esta noche. What about tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? What is the meaning of tomorrow? Mañana. Mañana. What are you going to do tomorrow? ¿Qué va a ser mañana? And tomorrow night. Mañana que no tenemos clase. What are you going to do? And say, I'm going to work on the platform exercise. I'm going to study the week classes. So what are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, Ana Yasmin, tell me. I am gonna sleep. 
I'm going to sleep, okay? <laughs> and that is tomorrow night, mañana en la noche. And next week, next week, what are you going to do next week? Próxima semana. Okay, la próxima semana. ¿Qué va a ser la próxima semana? Next week. Next yeah. week. I'm going to celebrate my best friend's birthday. Okay, that is nice. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Your best birthday? birthday. Oh, your best friend's birthday. That is a great plan for the next weekend. And what about next month? Next month? Próximo mes. El próximo mes, yes. So what are you going to do next month? In next summer? Summer, next summer. El próximo verano. Uh, está lejos, apenas y vamos terminando este. Bueno, ya casi termina, ya casi viene mayo. Then it start in winter. So, what are you going to do tonight? Look at the example here. What are you going to do tonight? I am going to go to a party. Oh, really? Who's going to be there? Well, Lara and Rosa are going to come but Jeff isn't going to be there. So this is an example. You are going to practice with your classmates. So you are going to ask the question, what are you going to do uh, tonight? So get ready with your plans for tonight after class. ¿Qué va a ser hoy en la noche después de la clase? What are you going to do tonight? Let's see, any volunteer to answer the question? What are you going to do tonight? I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch TV. Okay, excellent. So you say I'm gonna watch TV. Voy a ver televisión, right? Anybody? What are you going to do tonight? I'm gonna make uh, homework. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do my homework. Uh, I'm gonna do my homework. homework. Excellent. Excellent plan. Thank you. Anybody? Teacher, I gonna uh, sleep in. I'm gonna sleep. Very good. Uh -huh. I'm gonna sleep. And uh -huh. okay. Very good sentence. Thank you. And then let's see what are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? I'm gonna work. I'm gonna work. I am. I am gonna work tomorrow. Okay, excellent sentence. I am gonna work tomorrow. Nice. Anybody? Una más para mañana. What are you going to do tomorrow? You say, I'm gonna go shopping. I'm gonna stay at home. I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna go to the park. I'm gonna have a party. So you have to say a plan for tomorrow break. Right? And also for tomorrow night, what are you going to be? What are you going to do? Sorry, tomorrow night. Uh, I am going to repair a motorcycle. Okay, excellent. I'm going to fix a motorcycle. Fix a motorcycle. I'm going to fix a motorcycle. Thank you for your sentence. So for next week, you have plans for next week? Uh, next month in next summer, okay? So I will give you, let's see, one, two, three, three minutes for you to have one answer for every, uh, for every of this expression. Right. Un plan para mañana en la noche, un plan para esta noche después de clases, un plan para mañana, un plan para la próxima semana, okay. y el siguiente mes y el siguiente verano. ¿Es ¿Sí, okay? Let's think about a plan for this uh, for this day, right? For this coming date. And then we are going to go to the small group and we are going to practice right question and answer question and answer. Preguntas y respuestas. The question is what are you going to do? 
Ok, mientras, res, mientras preparan sus respuestas, let's practice in this small conversation. Do volunteers to practice in the example? Uh, thank you, Alejandra María. And any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. So, Alejandra, you are A. Can you please start? Okay. What are you going to do tonight? I am going to go to a party. Oh, really? Who's going to be there? Well, Lara and Rosa are going to come, but Jeff isn't going to be there. Excellent. Very good. Now, can you practice using the sound bona in this conversation again, please? Let us start again, but now I use the sound gonna in the sentences. Oh, okay. Uh, what are you gonna to do tonight? I know. What are you gonna do tonight? Excellent. I am, I am gonna go to a party. Oh, really? And who's gonna be there? Well, Lara and Rosa are are gonna come, but Jess isn't go, gonna be there. Okay, excellent, very good job, thank you so much. Okay, uh, the last two volunteers, and then we're going to go to the small group and we're going to practice there. The last two volunteers to practice in this one, Ana Yasmin, thank you, and Ana Yasmin, and Okay, let me see. Hey, teacher. Okay, uh, Ana Lucia, and luego practica con Claudia, Manuel, okay? So let's listen in this moment, Ana Lucia and Ana Yasmin. Ana and Ana, very good. So Ana Yasmin, uh, you are A, and Ana Lucia, you are B. Can you please start? Don't forget about the sound gonna in these sentences. What are you gonna tonight? Ana Lucía. Ah, Ana Lucía, I can listen you. Ana. Escucha. Ah, ahora sí. Hola. Ah, bueno, que estas son mis audífonos. Ok, por favor, rep repítame, Ana Jasmine. Yes. What are you gonna do, 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 do tonight? I'm gonna go to a party. Oh, really? Who's gonna be, be there? Well, Lara and Rosa are gonna come, but Jeff isn't gonna be there. Okay, that was excellent. Thank you so much. Very good job, Ana Yasmin and Ana Lucia. Thank you so much for your participation in this part. Now, the question is, are you ready to practice with your classmate? Remember the question, what are you going to do? What are you going to do tonight? What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow night? What are you going to do next week? What are you going to do next month? And what are you going to do next summer? So you are going to say six plans, right? Six sentences. In the groups, se pueden dividir, ¿verdad? ¿Quién va a hacer las preguntas y quién va a responder? So take turns to practice with your classmate. So are you ready? Yes. Yes? Okay, excellent. Yeah. So let's start with this activity. Just, um, let me see how many we are tonight. Okay, here we go. We are going to work in group of three. Uh, Francisca, do you have a question? I am a participation. I am, I quiero participar. Ah, okay, very good. Do you want to 
Do you want to participate? Okay, but you are going to work in group, right? In your group. So, tomen turnos ben, para hacer las preguntas y para responder en los grupos. I will give you, let's see, uh, eight minutes to complete this, okay? Tienen ocho minutos para practicar con sus compañeros. See you in eight minutes. Hello, Angel Portillo. Hello, Francisca Idalia. Uh, do you have any problem to enter the small group? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Angel. Uh, Recibió teacher. la invitación para unirse a los yes. grupos. Yes. Teacher, Tell eh, me. Yo pido permiso para abandonar eh, la, la, la sesión. Tengo una urgencia ahorita, una emergencia, y creo que tengo que desconectarme. Ah, ok, ok. No problem. Then see you on Monday. Okay, nos vemos el día lunes, que todo salga bien. Bye, Ángel. Sí, ok, gracias, Miguel. Ok, bye, bye. Francisca Idalia, do you have any problem to enter to the small group with your classmates? Can I help you with something? Hello, Carlos David. Hello, Raúl. Hello, Francisca y Dalia. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Uh, are you ready to practice? Queríamos completar la imagen, pero no la encontramos. Ah, ok, let me share with you. Uh, just a second. What is the picture? This one, this picture. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's start. Let's start with uh, Francisca Idalia. What are you gonna do tonight after class? Um, uh, sleep, teacher. Okay. Say the same thing. That is an excellent plan. So you say, I am. Yes, I am. I'm gonna sleep. Excellent. Very good sentence, Raúl. What are you going? What are you gonna do tonight? Uh, I am. I'm gonna. Tarea, ¿cómo se dice? Do homework. I'm gonna do homework. I'm gonna do homework. The homework. The children. Ah, okay. I'm gonna do my. Children's homework. I'm going to do my children's homework. My children's homework. Ah, okay, excellent. I'm very good. Let's see, Carlos David. What are you going to do tonight after class? Carlos? Uh, I'm going to go to the party. Ah, okay, excellent. I'm going to go to a party. That's a great plan. 
So enjoy the party. And let's go to the next one. What are you going to do tomorrow? Y veamos, Francisca puede preguntarle a sus compañeros. What are you going to do tomorrow? Okay. Um, I'm going to What are you going to do eh, tomorrow? Tomorrow night. Okay, Carlos David and Raúl, what are you going to do tomorrow night? I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, play soccer. Okay, very good plan. I'm gonna play soccer. I'm gonna uh, play game. Okay, Ari, I am going to play a game. Okay. Yes. Very good. Video okay. games? Video games? Yes. Yes. Okay, Carlos David, can you ask to your classmate the next, for the next week, what are you going to do next week? Carlos? Uh, repeat that, uh, por favor. What are you going to do next week? Uh, next week, eh, recuérdeme el significado, perdón, disculpe. La próxima semana, la próxima semana. ¿Qué vas a hacer la próxima oh, oh. semana? Uh, I'm going to do... Uh... <coughs> ¿Cómo se dice acampar en inglés? Camp. I'm going to camp. Camping, camping, camping. Sí, camping. Ok, I'm going to go camping. You can say. I'm going to go camping. Say the sentence, please. I am going to go camping. Ok, excelente. So, continúen haciendo preguntas, ¿verdad? What are you going to do? Y escojan una de las expresiones de tiempo, por ejemplo, díganle, Carlos David, what are you going to do next month? Raúl Edgardo, what are you going to do tomorrow? Francisca, what are you going to do next summer? Okay, so continue practicing this question. See you in five minutes with the rest of your classmates, okay? okay. Continúen pre haciendo preguntas y respuestas. Continúen practicando. Oh, uh, um, bye. Bye. I don't know. I think uh -huh. she's the teacher with us. Hello, hello, Alejandra. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Are you practicing the question and answer? Yeah, hi. Yeah. Little, little. Okay. Uh, let's see the first one. What are you going to do tonight after classes? I'm going to sleep. Okay, I'm Alejandro tired. say, I'm going to sleep because I am so tired tonight. And tell me, what are you going to do tonight after classes? Um, I'm I going to sleep, uh, but um, I have a headache. Ah, okay. I'm going to sleep because I have a headache. Because, headache. because, yes. Okay, excellent. Uh, what about tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to work all day. Okay. I'm, I'm going to work. You're going to work too, then me. Okay, excellent. And tomorrow night, what are you going to do tomorrow night? I I going to... Um... Go to the celebration birthday. Okay, with, so my, with my friend. 
Okay, excellent plan. So you say, I'm going to go to a celebration or to a party, a birthday party with my uh, friends. To a, to a party. Okay, excellent. I, I go on a... And Alejandra? I'm going to eat pupusas tomorrow night. Ah, okay, perfect plan. Thank you so much. And next week... Perfect plan. Okay. Yes, yeah, perfect plan. Queremos una de ayote con queso. Ahí <laughs> tiene el pedido de el otro pedido también. Ah, okay. Or, or eh, shrimp. Shrimp. Yeah. Okay, shrimp pupusas. I haven't tasted that. They are delicious. They are delicious. Okay, so do you recommend that? Yes. yes. Ah, okay, nice. I'm going to try. I'm going to try shrimp pupusas soon. And let's see next week. What are you going to do next week? I I, I am going to do um, work and, and visit to my parents with my husband. Okay, that is a great plan for next week. And Alejandra, next week, do you have any plan um, for next week? I'm gonna celebrate my best friend's birthday. Excellent plan, very good. And let's see next month, for next month. I'm gonna be alive. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, I hope so. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do anything, okay? You still don't have any plan for next month. That is great. Yes. Okay. See you in a minute with the rest of the classmates in the class. Yeah, Thank you know. so much for your participation. You, your sentences were perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher? Yes. Fisher, no se le escucha. Ah, ok, I'm sorry. Siempre me pasa cuando regresamos de los breakup rooms, se me olvida que se bloquea el micrófono. I'm sorry for that. Thank you. Um, did you finish your practice with your classmates? ¿Terminaron de practicar con sus compañeros? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah. Ah, ok, that's great. Carlos Mauricio, how was your practice? Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, uh, sí terminaron. Les hizo falta tiempo. Todos. Mm. Sí, solo que o sea, yo les mencionaba, verdad que es lo que yo entendí, uh -huh. que solo era de digamos sustituir la última palabra, que era eh, tonight. Tomorrow, uh, next week, next month, next summer. Eh, en la pregunta, ¿verdad? Si oh. no me equivoco. Yes, you are ¿verdad? right. Yes. Y contestar, pues, de una forma... Creo yo que, no sé si estaría bien, eh, está bien lo que le voy a decir. que eh, Cuando usted pregunta si va a hacer algo, digamos, what are you going to... Go to the party the next week. Eh, digamos, a la hora de contestar, eh, solo, puedo, solo puedo contestar. I am going to 
eh, no, perdón. Si me está preguntando, sería, what are you gonna do next, next week? Yes. Yes, yeah. next week. A la hora de contestar, yo le puedo poner, este, I am gonna eh, go to the party, nada más, o tengo que agregarle el next week. No, no es necesario. Solo puede responder. No I'm going to go to a party. Yeah. I'm going to go to a party. Okay. Eh, la frase de tiempo sería para ser más específico. I'm going to go to a party next week. Entonces, ahí somos más uh -huh. específico. Voy a ir a una fiesta en la próxima semana. Pero como ya okay. va en la pregunta, ¿verdad? en la respuesta, pues ya no, no es uh -huh. necesario. Pues sobre entiende que le está preguntando de la, de la próxima semana, Así es, entonces no necesariamente debe de ir ahí. ¿no? Perfecto. Very good. Thank you so much, Carlos. Anybody has a doubt? ¿Alguien le sobró tiempo? ¿Le hizo falta tiempo? Así vamos arreglando para la próxima actividad. Speaking activity. Si les hizo falta tiempo, faltó alguien de participar. So tell me, Ray, tell me. No, everything was okay. ¿Todo estuvo bien? ¿Yes? Yes. yes. Ah, ok. Very good. Everything was ok then. So, let's go with this. Let's go to the platform. Let me see. I hear that you have some problem with this. So, yes. There's one. Just a second. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm sharing with you here the platform. Uh, can you see it? Can you already yes, see it? Yes. yes. Okay. Here we go. And see what did I do? This gives me a second. Okay, this is the model number three. And we are in, what are you going to do? It has three exercises. And let's go to exercise number one, which is this one. Did you already solve this exercise? This is a listening. So the instruction says, listen to the interview. What are these people going to do? So look at the picture. And then we have Michelle, Kevin, Robert, and Jane. Did you complete this exercise? Yes, I complete. Ah, okay. Was it easy or difficult? Yeah. Very easy. Very easy. Okay. What is Michelle going to do? Do you remember the answer? If not, let's listen. Let's listen once. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Thank Radio. You. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to go to the video game arcade. Oh, so you're going to play video games. Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Yes, my name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. Okay, let's see number one. Michelle is going to... Meet a friend. Meet a friend. Meet a friend tonight. Kevin is going to... Play video. Play video games. Play video games. Play video games. And let's see the next one. 
Robert is going to work at home. Work at home. Work at home. Poor Robert, right? ¿Les ha pasado lo de Robert? Había una fiesta, yeah. pero tenía mucho trabajo. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's terrible, right? Uh, Jane is going to listen to music. Listen to, music. Listen to her new CDs, right? She is going to listen to music. That is great. And those are the answers. Then you click here on send. Da, 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 da. Okay, excellent. Yeah, you got 10 there. Yeah, 1.9 nos puede ayudar. Bueno, puede ayudar a mí. Sure. Oh, let's go with the next exercise. In this part. Okay, our... La, la escritura. El siguiente, mi siguiente. El siguiente que le decía. The next section, teacher. Okay, in this section, say the instruction. Complete the, complete the conversation with the correct form of P going to. Follow the example. Okay, so we are going to complete with the correct form of B and going to. So let's see, the example it says, how are you going to spend your summer vacation? My parents and I are going to visit my grandpa. Now in conversation number one, who are you to Thanksgiving dinner? Going to. Going to. They say going to, más el verbo que está en parentes. Going to invite, invite. Okay, going to invite. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Then the next one is I am going to ask invite to the Thanksgiving. I'm going to ask my family and some good friends. And in conversation number two, what are you going to do? Ah, okay, so what are you going to do for Halloween? He said, I don't know. No, I am. I'm going. Mm, I am. Uh, I am not, not going. going, to, not going. 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 I am not, not going, going to do anything not going special. To, uh, I am not going to. I am not going to do anything special. Conversation number three. How are your parents? New going Year's to year. celebrate. Okay, excellent. Going to celebrate New Year's Eve. Then we have B, which is they are going to go. They are going to go. They are going to go to their neighbor's party. Oh, we have conversation number four. What is your sister going to do? Going to do. Going to do for her birthday. Her boyfriend. Going to take. And okay, her boyfriend is going to take her out to dinner. Let me click on send and the answer were okay, perfect. That's right. I can see that you saw this exercise. Very good job. Okay. Uh, Mauricio eh, tenía problemas en este, ¿verdad? Is it clear now? Eh, yes, es que yo, digamos, eh, sabía oh. cómo hacer la pregunta o algo, pero no, no había entendido si era solo de, decía yo, solo de poner el going to, going to, going to y el verbo. Entonces decía yo, entonces yo lo contestaba, digamos, ponía una oración. Eso creía yo, o sea, no, no lo había entendido muy bien como lo tenía que ir respondiendo. Ok, great, but now that is correct, right? duda. Ok, perfect, then let's go to the next one, uh, let's go to the next exercise, let's move this here and let's go with this one. Uh, this is the next one, right, about this reading. Anybody has problem in this one, in this exercise? Mm -hmm. Then the instructions that read the article, then answer where the sentence presented in each article is true or false. So true is verdadero and false, false, right? So mm -hmm. let's see, and then we have Elena Buenaventura Madrid. She is from Madrid. 
And then we have the reading part. My 21st birthday is on Saturday. And I'm going to go out with some friends to wish me a happy birthday. True. They are they are gonna pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Okay, look at this tradition in Madrid, Spain. So would you like to practice this custom? ¿Les gustaría practicar esta costumbre? What is the custom in Madrid for the people who is in his birthday? ¿Cuál es la costumbre en Madrid para las personas que están cumpliendo años de acuerdo a esta lectura? What is the pull on my ear? The pull 21 times for each year. Ok. Uh, es un jalón de oreja por cada año que ha cumplido. Ella va a cumplir 21 y le van a jalar las orejas 21 veces. Great. 21 times. 21 times, right? Ah, pobrecitos los que llegan a 100 años en Madrid. Uh, ok, to celebrate her birthday, Elena's friend are going to pull her ear 20 times. Then the answer is... True. True, True. ok, excelente. Mm, let's go with the second tradition. So it's Yang Ching Shi Taipei. Tomorrow it's my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money and lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Now let's see what is noodles. What is the meaning of this? Noodles, what are noodles? Fideos. Oh, fideos, right, fideos. So 16th birthday, it's a special birthday. Uh, in El Salvador, what is the special birthday for girls? 15. 15th, right? The 15th birthday is so special for girls in El Salvador. And they have a big party, a big birthday party in Look at this. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. Okay, so sobre, ¿verdad? Envelopes, sobres, con mensajes de buena suerte y dinero de sus familiares. That is great. So Jan Ching is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. True or false? False. True. False. Who is gonna cook? Who is going to cook? Put uh, some noodles. Mm, okay. Her mom's right. So the answer is false. Quien va a cocinar es su mamá. So the answer is false. Noodles are for a long life. Bueno, los videos significan una larga vida. That's why they eat noodles on that special day. Then we have Mr. and Mrs. Aoki Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow in Japan. The 60th birthday is called Kamreki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often get something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. And on his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive something red. What is the answer in number three? True. The answer is true, right? Okay, that is true. And let's go with the next. Da, da, da. Philip Joel, Philip Jolly, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week. So I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Ah, ok, let's see. No son tan divertidos en Francia los cumpleaños. El cumpleañero paga todo. <laughs> ok, so Philip's friends are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. True or false? False. 
false, right? Philip has to pay. Philip tiene que pagar la cena. The, those were the answer. And every answer was correct. Thank you so much. And this is section number one. Do you have any question? And no. we have we have finished section number one. Yeah. And on Monday yeah. we are going to st uh, start section number two. And the name of the section is What's the Matter? And we are going to study body parts, and we are going to study illnesses and sickness, enfermedades comunes, right? And giving advices and para dar consejos también. That is for next week. Okay, if you haven't completed your platform, so you can do it. Si no he terminado de completar la sección 1 de su plataforma, puede hacerlo, ¿verdad? Y puede avanzar en las siguientes secciones. Thank you so much, guys, for this week. It, I'm so happy uh, for your work. Thank you so much for your participation. And see you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Rest a lot. Okay, and see you on Monday. Bye. Bye bye. 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 Thank bye. you, teacher, bye. for your help. Bye. 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 bye bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. See you on Monday.